It's Kev here, and I have a disassembly to do for you. This is the Kaiser Doberman. This is a O dot show, O show design, and uh, pretty cool story here. This is a new release coming from Kaiser, so uh, check the links down below. Use them links. It helps the channel out. I really like this design. So that's the first thing I want to talk about. Flipper tab's nice. Once you get used to how to operate this flipper tab, because it's a little tucked away, um, it's really nice. You can see the thumb stud is money. I can uh, reverse flick it. No problemo. Um, and the action on the clothes is nice. Nice flat up here. Some jimping right here. It's really well done, well designed. Um, but he actually asked me to take it apart. Um, he wanted me to do a video disassembling this knife. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to double check and make sure the clip is not reversible because it kind of looks like it's not, but you never know. There could be something under there. We'll see. And uh, we will uh, disassemble it. So since we're here and we have a new channel measuring tape you guys have all been waiting patiently for years for let's use it let's see if i can learn how to use a tape measure so we have three and a half inches dead on to the scale there um cutting edge is what where are we at on the cutting edge cutting edge is actually longer it's just about the same three and a half inches, I would say. Um, you can't really go from the tip, can you? I guess you could. I don't know how you measure that. 3.6. But if you go straight across from there, it's... Well, guess what? 3.6. So then the handle, we're looking at five inches. Five inches. And overall, we're looking at eight and a half. Just over eight and a half inches. So there you go, guys. Learn how to use a measuring tape. You're welcome. All right, so let's get our drivers out. We're probably going to need, let's see, a T8. This is T8. I mean, I know we're going to need that. I'm just trying to see if we need anything else. So I'm going to close this bad boy. Ooh, that's tight. Ah, right. Of course, it comes out of that side because there's no screw over here, no body screw over here. So let's remove this. Let's see. Is it possibly a reversible clip? It is. Awesome. That might be one reason he wanted me to disassemble it. I love it. So this pops off, locks into a triangle. Can't believe I didn't catch that. Um, and then you pop this in, like she, and then you put this through here. And now we should have... A lefty clip, and it still looks the same. How about them apples right there? Very cool. Awesome design. It is reversible. Love it. All right, let's get into this. So we're going to take this scale off. Comes Wow, look at that. Crazy liner. Look at that. Another reason he probably wanted me to take it apart. Please be a T8. It was... Another screw right here. And now this guy should pop out. Oh, okay. So steel, obviously, that's your uh, washer slash liner. And then we have multi-rows in here. We have multi-row batterings in here. How cool is that right there? Could we swap them? Probably, but I'm not going to because there's no need. Honestly, no need to even mess with whatever they did in here. Stop pin internal. You can see that right there. Here's the other liner. And you have it's cut out. This is all G10 right here. And then it's just a thin liner inset here and your backspacer. I guess if we have a second, I can take it apart. Let's see. We can punch. Oh, geez, the surprises keep coming. It's a uh, it's a bushing. Seen this a couple times lately. So there's a bushing on here. 
So you'd have to remove this, but um, yeah, I don't want to strip it. It's very tight. So basically this piece comes off and then that'll come out. But it's a bushing instead of a pivot barrel. You don't have a barrel that goes through all the way. It just sits in the middle. It's very Spyderco-ish. Um, and then here's your backspacer, which is attached via that screw on this side. Very cool. Very, very cool. Great design. And you do, looks like, have a D-shape right here to lock it in place. Very cool. So what we do then is we take a little bit of KPL. And let me clean these bearings up. Okay, drop that on. Sorry, I was like in my own world for a second there. It's just thinking about stuff. Um, all right, so we drop that on. I'm gonna check the D10 hole. You can see the D10 hole looks good right there. Okay, put the blade on. Let's start closing it. Let me, oops, put away this. KPL, guys, you can pick up at knifepivotlube.com. There's always a link down in the description, especially on a disassembly video. I always link all my tools and everything, but you can use the code LEFTY10 at knifepivotlube.com. So let's make sure this bushing is lined up. The D shape. Oh, interesting. Huh. I don't think that D shape matters. That's weird. Why did they use a D-shaped bushing then? What am I missing? I'm missing this screw. And a full liner. I'm missing a liner. Which is probably where the D-shape goes, you dumbass. <laughs> this is what happens when you go off into your own world for a second in the middle of a disassembly. So wait. Oh, man, Jesus. I'm so sorry, guys. Wow, okay, this goes on the D shape, and then this clicks here, okay? Then this goes here to lock the liner down. See what can happen when you can pay attention, guys? Now this goes on here. That's why the D shape wasn't on here, because Somebody's a dum-dum. This will close. Pivot goes here. And because it's a bushing, you can't really over-tighten it, which is nice. It's almost centered. We're, we're going to see what happens when I put this clip on. We're going to go ahead and put it on lefty, because pff, why wouldn't we? And we're going to tighten this down. Clip, no tap, clip, no tap, action, feels good, oh, yep, feels great, centering, so we can see it is off to this side over here, so what we need to do is tighten it, and what I think the problem is, nope, there was no problem, <laughs> It is dead nut centered. Uh, what I think the problem is, is me. So let me try, let me try to take that off one more again. Clean this. I'm gonna, you know, obviously I'm gonna glue it. Not much on there, cool. All right, we're going to take some glue, but first, I did use a lot of this yesterday for a pumpkin. I was putting together a, I was putting together a pumpkin for my kid because 
we bought a pumpkin to dress up like a unicorn came in a little kit and uh, of course she didn't do any of it i did all of it still a tiny bit of play and it seems like there i remember when i took it apart it felt like that bushing had a little bit of room on this side but i can't adjust it because it's really loctited but maybe i just got it so we just need to crank it down basically that's nice you don't have to worry about going too tight or whatever so let me clear this out a little bit squeeze down see if we have any left yep so i put a little bit here and then i'll work a little bit down here too just to be safe spin that up Get her going and off to the races. Gonna go ahead and crank it. Still have that little bit of play. Doesn't seem like I can do anything about that. Just can't tighten anymore, so. Tried. it's pretty damn close to center i mean we're talking very small amounts but this is the game i talked about this this is the game you play when you design a knife like this um i have to give the designer a nod because he took the risk and he put the notch okay um with Devo knives, we've thought about doing the notch before. We actually had it on the original stout, but we decided against it because if you're off at all, it is absolutely noticeable. And you know, most OEMs, most companies are gonna have, you know, a five to 10% window when it comes to centering. They might not be dead, 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 bullseye dead on every time. You know, and not everybody knows how to tweak a knife. So when this happens where you're just slightly off, it can be pronounced, right? Um, I think it's fine, but I'm just saying. Ballsy move. So hopefully Kaiser comes through. I do recall uh, before the disassembly, it was totally centered if you check the unboxing. So that's on me. Very comfortable knife. I really like this knife, guys. It's very cool. I found out later, Kaiser was holding out on me. There's a premium version of this knife. Um, I don't know if the premium version also has the cool uh, reversible clip, but hopefully it does. So let me know what you guys think of the Doberman. I'm really excited to see what else we're going to get from O dot show in the future and um thank you for putting a lefty clip on this so i love you guys hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later